Boy, Big Dog again with another TV repair video. And this is a pretty much common problem. I'll probably do about one or two of these every month. Uh, this is a 40 inch Samsung uh, Smart TV, as you can see. Uh, Smart TV, you got the internet connection. Uh, the model number is right here. It's a 40 UN 40H 5203A. And uh, basically the problem that we're having with this set is we go to uh, hit the power button which is located underneath a little toggle switch and just watch the red light here. Um, the backlight should be coming up as you can see. Uh, there's absolutely nothing. Okay. Um, okay, once the light stops, stops blinking, the TV should actually be on screen should be lit uh, but it is not so, all right so basically what I'm gonna do is just pull the four screws out of the stand here okay let us slide right off <laughs> I'm gonna pull the four screws out uh, located behind the stand okay that's that is what supports the stand and don't forget to Take this one off here. This is a screw right here with a little plate. Actually comes off. And there's actually um, two wires. Uh, one is for the speaker, and one is for the um, the power power button, I believe. Um, just disconnect those, and then what? Because I think that the um, this is for the power button and for the Wi-Fi module. This wire right here. And when you pull the back cover off, it's going to be located on the back. So just, just, it's just making sure that you won't uh, snag anything or pull any wires loose. And of course, obviously, once you do that, take the rest of the screws out. Okay. Uh, now I get my back cover off. Uh, as you can see, uh, it's still connected to the power button. A little toggle switch right here. That is your actual power button, and then you can go this way for menu and all that kind of good stuff. And then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just, I don't know if you can see this pretty good on camera, but I'm actually going to um, squeeze these little things on the side of the power button here. There's one here and one here. And as you can see, it comes right off. Voila. Okay, so actually, uh, the first thing I'm going to check on this uh, set right here, uh, as you can see, this is our power supply board to the right, um, and this is our LED connector uh, from the power supply going into, into the television, because that's for the LEDs. Uh, this was fairly simple. Um, all we're going to do is just, um, you can read the little legend uh, next to it somewhere, I think it's right here, but actually, the black wires are always positive, I'm sorry, negative, and the gray wire is positive. And we're just going to check it with our LED checker. And I'm pretty sure one of these is wide open. Okay. And you can see we have a uh, gray, black, gray, black, and then gray, black. Okay. This is actually how I do it. Um, I actually go unplug the plug and I get a pair of um, pliers here. Tighten them up just so I can keep this steady. Uh, that way I have to worry about any interference coming from the circuit uh, when I get ready to check the LEDs. So I got my little handy LED checker. I uh, got off Shop Jimmy. It's like 60 bucks. I'm not sure what it is now. Works excellent. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to um, check each one of those LEDs. And you'll actually see, like I said, the black is going to the negative. We have three sets, uh, three LED strips in this TV. So I'm going to go to black to negative and red until the gray wire was positive okay um as you can see i got 22 volts and i do see some back lights coming through the tv okay that's the first one and then the second set is actually right here oops let's kind of adjust that a little bit okay and the second row ne right next to it, um, black, negative, okay, 
That's another one and I can also see some LEDs lit on the TV. 22 volts and this last one here, positive on the gray, negative on the black. As you can see, it is reading 305, it is open. Okay, once again. Okay, so what I'm gonna actually do now is, um, first thing I'm gonna do, okay, this is very important, is make sure that you disconnect the line coming from the main board to the TCOM board. Now you can disconnect it from right here, okay, and make sure there's no voltage coming out of it. But you must disconnect the panel uh, from the TCOM board, and I'm gonna do it right here on this end. Um, Okay, all right, that's very easy. Uh, if you disconnect it from right here and you go to fry the TV set up um, after you've disconnected it and this is touching the metal, yeah, you will have a problem. But anyway, that should be good enough. And I wanna take this um, front bezel off. This is fairly easy. All you need is a prior tool and something like this one here and you can actually lay it on his back and look up under it. I really can't show you right now, but I'm gonna see if I can get you an easy one here. Uh, this should come right off. Uh. It's actually some little clips. And you will be able to you will be able to see them once you look up under here. See there? Got some tape here. I'll just take that off on the side. See, it comes up fairly easy and just do that uh, all the way around okay so I just unclipped it all the way around and that comes right off this one's fairly easy and what I want to do is take our TCOM board I'm sorry our driver boards uh, if you want to you can disconnect the speakers also I forget about that part and just take those off because they will get in the way while you're turning the TV. And we're just going to uh, disconnect here our driver boards. Make sure that you do not tear these or bend these wires. Okay, there's actually a circuit inside of this rumor connector. Uh, make sure that you do not tear them, rip them or anything. Otherwise, uh, it's over with. Okay, <laughs> uh, the picture's gonna be messed up. Take the tape off, we'll come down, we'll flip it out, bring it out, put it on top. And just put a little tape across there so, I, so that way it'll stick to the screen and uh, it won't get snagged or anything like that. Um, I'm going to actually use the electrical tape. Works a little better for me than that um, clear stuff. Because every time I do use the clear stuff, it always sticks to the screen when I try to take it off. But to take some electrical tape. As you can see, there is a circuit in each one of these rumor connectors. Okay, that is for your display. Make sure you are very careful with that. And then what I'm gonna do next is actually remove the screen. Using these here. Okay, these are small ones. I do have some bigger ones for bigger screens. Okay, but uh, actually these are all you need right here. And just stick it on there. 
it'll come right up and then place it in a safe place okay okay once the screen is removed we have one more ready to take off um, this piece right here as you can see there's some little clips right here see there's a clip there 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 all the way around I'm actually going to mark which side is the bottom it's going a little red marker I'm actually going to put a little dot directly on the white screen there not too big okay that way I know exactly how it goes back it has to go exactly the screen has to go exactly back how it came out okay and I'm just gonna just unclip these here all the way around pull this up fairly simple see it comes right off all the way around okay once that other uh, bezel was off I'm actually gonna pull off the diffuser screens there's actually two of them there's a thin one and there's a thick one and as you can see um, I did mark the red dot to show that this one is the outside screen and I'm also going to mark a red dot by here now you don't have to do this but this makes it much easier on yourself when you put it back together because um, you don't want to um, <laughs> put it in backwards put everything back together and, and it knows that the pictures, the pictures are you know, out of focus or something like that so all right, this is in a safe place, out of the way. Okay, and the last thing is to remove our paper and paper off of here so we can test our LEDs and basically get some stuff holding in and just some little clips. So two clips right here, some more clips. Uh, actually, these are not clips, these are for something else. But actually, just two clips right there, I believe. There's a little glue. Be careful not to tear it, kind of tear it off gently. Use your finger. You don't want to rip it because you're going to start seeing, it's not all white in the background, you're going to start seeing black, kind of like black spots uh, when you put it back together. Take this tape off around here, pull this out, go to the other side, pull these two big ones out. All you need to do is just Get some needle noses and just squeeze them out right there very easy i'll find some needle nose pliers where you at baby around here somewhere i guess just squeeze those right out no big deal squeeze them Push them in, squeeze it, push it out. That easy. Comes right off. Pull your paper out, and we'll begin the testing. Okay. All right. So we got our paper off. Want to test each uh, one of these strips individually? Okay. That's one reading uh, 18. Okay, and as you can see, there's a few of them out. Okay, this is our middle one here. We'll check that. There's a few of them out there. Okay, and this last one here is probably the one that's open. As you can see, absolutely nothing. Now, with this particular TV, I do not recommend replacing the LEDs individually. Just go ahead and buy the strips. Just use the model number of the TV, which is a UN40. Go on eBay or Shop Jimmy, and they, all three of these strips are actually about uh, 40 or no more than $50 for all three of the strips. And that is very, that's, that's the easiest way to do it. And uh, I'm pretty much gonna end the video right now. Just pull these little white tabs out from the other side, replace the strips. One there, one there, okay. And one on the bottom. Put it back in. Put the little white tabs back in to hold these. The white tabs actually to hold the strips in place, as you can see. So the white tabs. Just go to the other side. Take your needle nose pliers. Push them out, and then uh, put it back in there, and put the TV back all together. And okay. Um, got our strips in. And one thing I forgot to tell you: this is a middle strip. When you go pull off these tabs right here on the end. 
Uh, they actually, one's right here and one's right here on top of it, right up underneath the circuit board. So if you want to, you can take the circuit board off and get to it. Otherwise, you can just get them, stick it in those pliers right in the side here and just, uh, you'll be able to see it and just squeeze it off and you'll be able to remove the middle one. Okay, so we'll go ahead and plug our, go ahead and test it up. Plug our LEDs back into the power supply board. Okay. Get our power cord. Plug that in. Turn it back over. Voila. There you go. Okay. That's it. We are done. We're going to put our screen back on. Uh, I didn't replace the top one because I didn't have that one. I'm just showing this to you just for testing purposes. Um, so that's it. Like I said, you get these uh, LED strips, all three of them, for about uh, I think $49.95. I'm not sure off eBay or shopjimmy.com. I'll leave the links below in the description. And uh, so all we need to do is put our screen back on and the same order that it came off. Make sure that you do not break the screen, do not bend the screen, and do not definitely do not tear the connectors or actually even crunch them. Uh, the connectors that I was showing you with the circuit board inside. Uh, otherwise, the picture will be messed up and there's nothing you can do about it. Reminder, don't forget to put these back in. Okay, there we go. TV is finally working. Uh, so make sure that you guys give me a thumbs up. Uh, thanks for watching and make sure that you do subscribe for more videos. Uh, big dog out.